Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm Cypher, or Telly Bailey for this case. I took a DAT, let me see, about three months ago, and I did kind of well, so uh, I'm here to pass on the torch and help others. Uh, Student Doct Doctor Network was really there for me, they helped me out, so I think it wouldn't be fair unless I give back to the community. And uh, I feel like typing it up is going to be a waste of my time and your time, so I'm just going to make a video. Uh, besides, there really isn't anything good on YouTube, like any comprehensive guide on DAT. So, sit down, sit tight. Um, it's gonna be a legitimate guide, as much as I can make it legitimate at least. Uh, it's gonna be a long video, it's gonna be super dense, and you know, I'm just gonna get right to it. Okay, so first of all, uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna be an undertaking. It's gonna be a journey, and um, it'll be well worth it, but you're gonna be, you're gonna push yourself a little bit. It's gonna get a little boring, it's gonna get a little tough, but you'll get there. So I started studying uh, two weeks into my summer break, and I took the test two days before, well, the day before actually my school started. So it was a good three months, and it was well worth it. Um, they say you spend about 300 hours or so. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit dumb, so I spent a little bit more, just a little bit more. Uh, but 300 hours should be good for any standardized test that's you know entry level professional schooling. Okay, so as far as the dedication and stuff, I'll talk a little bit more about it near the end of the video. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about the ways that helped me stay on track for that three months. For now, um, see so what did I write? Okay, well first thing, uh, I want to get this off my chest, you don't need a Kaplan class. A lot of people told me you need to take a Kaplan class and it'll help you stay on task and all that. Um, but I didn't take the class, saved a lot of money and honestly I did good. Um, the class, I think it would have been good if you can use all the resources that they give you, but the actual class itself, someone to teach you, I don't think you need it. Uh, DAT specifically, it's really not that specific. It's very general, so you don't need a class. For MCAT, I don't know. you got to talk to someone else. Um, let's see what else I wrote. They also say uh, the class helps you be inspired to stay on track. Uh, I mean, if you need to be inspired to take this test, you, uh, you have a problem. You need to really rethink dentistry. If you were inspired enough, you wouldn't need a class to uh, keep you on track. Um, so yeah, you're gonna. I feel like you're gonna save a lot of money by not taking the Kaplan course. But when it comes down to it, you're still gonna put down a lot of money just for the resources and all the books. Um, but it'll be worth it. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna go through the sections. First section in DAT, the bio. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna spend the most amount of time studying for this section. Um, maybe because it's the easiest to study, maybe because it's the most comprehensive. It's a lot of material. Um, for me, specifically, it was the most interesting, so I spent a lot of time studying when I uh, probably could put that time somewhere else. But take this section seriously, it's very important. Your bio and your reading comprehension and your PAT, um, they're the most important for dental schools. So as far as tips I got for you guys to study for the bio, first thing right after that, exposure. You want to get up really exposed to as many resources as possible. Um, the DAT bio is not specific, but it's very vast. So let me see. Don't focus on one vast aspect of bio too much, yes. So if you like something, if you like the nervous system, it's great, learn about it, get it down right, but you don't need to get into crazy amount of detail. What you really want to do is um, approach the areas in bio that you're not comfortable with. Don't run away from it. Just attack anything you're not comfortable with and um, just study it over and over until you're comfortable with it. And then you take the test and hopefully it all ends up well. So it's not nearly as detail oriented as the MCAT, but still take it very seriously. Um, ooh, don't study bio passively. Uh, I've seen people study and what they do is they just read the notes over and over. Don't do that. Be very active. Um, let me let me show you an example of what I mean by that. So this is this is the Bible, the Bible of the DAT studying. It's called the DAT Destroyer. Um, it was a, let me see if I can get it on camera. Aha! <laughs> I studied this a lot. I went over a couple of times over the summer, and it really helped. Uh, and by actively studying, I mean really taking a lot of notes. Um, let me see. So if you look at this, 
there's a difference between just reading it and actually, uh, where is it? If I can find it. Right here. So you want to be very active. Just take a lot of notes. Take notes on your notes. Don't just read it over and over because that's not, you're not going to return. You're just going to be daydreaming and you're just going to be reading words that don't make sense. Take notes. Take notes from your notes. Condense your notes and make some more notes and notes, 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 and it'll pay off. So as far as the oh, keep refreshing. Um, you're gonna always keep the gist of things if you study something really hard, but you'll forget the details. So what you want to do in the two, three months, or however long you're studying, is to keep refreshing, go over and over uh, what you uh, you studied, and that's where your notes help. The condensed notes this is a great way to refresh and just put down the things you forget. Um, and I think you should really focus on bio, like the meat of the bio near the end of your studying. So it's the most fresh when you take the DAT. Uh, as far as resources, I use the Kaplan Blue Book. I use pre-dds.net. Actually, this is a great resource, very underrated. I feel like it's one of the best resources. All these notes, this much, these are all um, from pre-dds.net. I printed them all. I went go over. I uh, went over all of them. It helped a lot. It really. I don't want to say it made the difference, but uh, I wouldn't have had such a grade had it not been for this different level of exposure. Because there's no way I would have had the time to go over the actual books. Going over the notes is much faster. Um, the other bio resources I use uh, datqwalt.com. Cliff AP Notes, DAT Destroyer, which is um, a great resource, but it's not the best. DAT Destroyer is more of a study guide. Um, it has a lot of questions, and in those questions are a lot of terms. So you want to use DAT Destroyer Bio when you're comfortable with Bio and you want to apply what you learn. Um, so you do all those questions and you see, did you really have it down or not? So there's a lot of terms in there. Um, DT Destroyer is good, but it doesn't give you a bigger picture. Um, it doesn't connect everything for you. Ooh, okay, the GChem. Uh, general Chemistry was my least favorite section by far. Well, math was the least, but GChem was pretty bad. And ironically, it ended up being my highest score. Uh, I scored 28 on it. I started it pretty hard. So it goes to say, uh, if you don't like something, you can still conquer it. Uh, so, of course, I started with Kaplan Blue Book just to refresh, just to start there. And then, again, I hate to endorse this product, and I really don't want to be branding something, but um, when it comes to your OCHEM and your general chemistry, this is it. This is your holy grail, your Bible. You just go over it over and over, and you learn it. Um, there's a good note whenever you go over it. Don't just do the problems all of, uh, once, and then right away restart doing the problems. I would say like take a week long break so it goes in the back of your mind like your subconscious so you're not just memorizing the answers you're actually doing the process every time. Um, the good thing with DAT Destroyer is that it takes the hardest problems in the DAT and gives you like a few hundred of them. So I guarantee you your actual DAT is not going to be nearly as hard but if you have the DAT Destroyer done you will do well in the um, normal DAT. Uh, let's see what happened to the music. I need my music, I need my rhythm. Where was I? So, um, mm -hmm. so I also use this thing called uh, High Year Chemistry, Quantum Year Review. Uh, this is it. The good thing about this book is that in the back of it, if you look, there's about like a hundred or so problems that are very similar to uh, the DAT and the MCAT. The guy that wrote it was actually, um, he used to teach, uh, well not teach, he used to tutor for MCAT and DAT for the longest time. Um, and yeah, I don't really have that much more to say about general chemistry. Um, it really comes down to you getting as much problems as, I, as you can and just going at it. Um, let's see, is the camera good?